Hi, my name is TJ, I'm nine years old, and today I'm going to have two chefs compete to make my dream dish. What's up, big man? Hi, How's TJ. it going? Hi. I'm Rie. And I'm Alvin. So, what do you think Yeti would eat? So, I think they would eat rocks to sharpen their teeth. Oh, uh, I cannot imagine how rocks taste like. Oh, that's that's a boulder. Oh, wow. It looks like one of those neck pillow. Yeah, on the airplane. <laughs> yeah. And then some hair on them because they shed a lot. You get a hair in your food, you send that thing back. But today, I have to make edible hair intentionally appear in the food and it has to taste good. And then uh, I'm gonna draw a bone because uh, they need carbonation. Now, what's animal that they come from? A wolf. A big wolf. Oh. A big wolf. Mm. And then I'm gonna draw the grass. What kind of grass grows in such a cold climate? Yeah. Well, this grass is called Grissi. Grissi. Oh, Grissi. Grissi. Spell it out. Yeah. Okay, it's tough. He has amazing imagination. Then they can eat branches from trees and then some leaves. I got my work cut out for me, man. This sounded kind of tough. What is your favorite food? Broccoli. Broccoli? What? Oh, wow. No way. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh my God. The mystery Oreo. Uh huh. It tastes exactly like gingerbread. So you kind of like spice like cinnamon? Yeah. I like uh, normal Oreos, Rice Krispie treats, mm -hmm. apples. Sounds like TJ likes sweet stuff. And I'm the dessert snob. I want to try coconut. Yeah. Do you like it or you just want to try it? I want to try it. I think I can see the gears turning. Everything's starting to make sense a little bit. Okay, TJ, do you think we can make it? Yes, I have good hopes in you. Oh, me, yes, <laughs> thank you. you. And you, and you too. Oh, thank you, thank Both you. Both of you. Here's my plan. For the rocks, I'm going to make chocolate cluster mixed with a bunch of different cereals and golden Oreo and Oreos and cover them all with milk chocolate. For the bones, I'm going to make puff pastry cookies with cinnamon and sugar. For the grass, I'm going to blanch some broccoli and cut Granny Smith's apple into glass shape. For the treats, I'm going to take Pocky and cover with candy melt and white chocolate and I'm going to top with some sprinkles. And last for the hair, I'm going to use katafi dough and bake it and sprinkle some sugar. I'm gonna make rocks out of Oreo truffles with a speckled white chocolate ganache glaze. For the branches, I'm gonna make toffee trees with mint leaves. For the grass, I'm thinking of making a mint lime coconut crumble. And for the bones, two simple shortbread cookies. And to top it all off, some nice chocolate curls for the Yeti hair. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get yeah. started. First, I'm going to make bones, and I'm going to cut out this puff pastry dough and shape like bone. Mm -hmm. So the dough is a little bit soft, so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Smart, that's yeah. exactly what a pastry chef would do. <laughs> Thank you. So Rie's been on the show. She has experience, she knows how this works, she knows how to make kids happy. She's won twice in the last season. It's kind of a lot to try to go up against. I'm trying to make grass, so oh. I'm gonna be zesting limes, throwing some mint in and some toasted coconut. TJ said he never tried coconut, so he might not like it. I think it's a very risky decision. It's looking cool. Oh, nice. Oh, that smells good. Oh, it's like mojito. Yeah, because it's like <laughs> mint and lime. I'm going to make a brown. Ooh, out of what? Out of pocky. Oh, that's so smart! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, well, why didn't I think of that? I'm Asian too! Oh. She has been known to be the coolest and most professional and fanciest person that I know, so I'm not really sure if I got a chance here. I'm gonna make Pocky fancy. Make it fancy. I've known Alvin for a long time, and he doesn't want to say it, but he's a very competitive person. All right, Alvin, you're still in this. Come on, don't give up now. So I'm going to make uh, pokey sticks look like a tree shape. I'm going to use white chocolate and candy melt. So I got my candy melt melted, and I'm going to transfer to piping back and pipe onto pokey sticks. You guys see that technique? That's so pretty. Thank you. Rie just casually just pipes these beautiful trees on her pocky, and I'm just like, 
Dude, what the heck, man? Okay, I'm gonna start on my rocks. I have Oreos, and then I'm gonna go in with some cream cheese. Oh yeah, there we go. I food process these a lot, and they're kind of warm. As you can see, they're not holding their shape, so I'm gonna freeze them to help them set up a bit. Now I have my white chocolate melted, so I'm going to do the same. TJ said that on the rocks, there's Yeti hair. It's brown, apparently, so I thought it'd be kind of funny to make the hair out of like chocolate curls. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and my brunch is done. You are speeding through things. You know? <laughs> we literally just started and I'm already 10 feet behind. Okay, next step. I'm gonna make a little glaze for the rocks. I think it'll give it a nice color. So I'm mixing some white chocolate with heavy cream. A quick version of like a ganache. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna microwave it and stir it until it's smooth. Looking pretty smooth. I'm gonna tap in a little bit of this Oreo powder to give it like a gray speckled look. This is looking pretty good actually. I think this looks like a rock. So this is done. The Oreo balls are freezing and I'm gonna start working on my tree. Though it's nice and cold, so I'm going to Sprinkle more sugar on top. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit pumpkin spice. So I'm going to bake this for 10 to 15 minutes. For the branches, I'm gonna start with a whole stick of butter. And then I'm gonna go in with a cup of brown sugar and then salt for flavor. And then we stir. Now I'm gonna make my rocks. I'm going to mix cereal and Oreo. Uh, my toffee's at 300, the perfect stage. So I'm gonna take it off and let it chill out and then we're gonna try to make some branches. Okay, so I have this idea where I'm gonna make some trunks. I have these chopsticks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lay them down like that. We have our toffee here. Oh boy, please don't separate. Don't separate. I'm still figuring out what you are doing. I'm trying to make it into the shape. Oh, like a log. Yeah, like a log. Mm. This is not turning out how I thought it was gonna turn out. Why? Okay, now I have to make branches. So I'm gonna try to take these and just paint. Is it gonna go? Nope. <laughs> this is so not what I wanted it to be. Alvin is trying to make his toffee log, but it's not working. And he seems like very panicking. I've never seen that side of him before. And what was I thinking? Toffee? Dude, Alvin, this is sugar work. You're not a pastry chef. Okay, my bones are ready. And Rie's bones are ready, so. My bone cookie is exactly what I imagined. Wow, oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you. And don't mind me, I'm just struggling over here. I have no idea why the top is being so difficult. I've made this like 400 times before. And this one time I decided to make it for a competition, it's not working. It's coming back together. Oh. I added some water. So now I'm getting more of these like branches, kind of going for like a drizzle back and forth technique. Now I got my branches hopefully there. I'm gonna start placing these little mint leaves that I picked out. I never seen you such like in a panic mode. You are always like calm. Oh, and like everything is under control. Everything is not under control. <laughs> in my bowl, I have Oreos, golden Oreo, Rice crispy, Honey Nut Cheerios, Corn Flakes, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay, so it'll look a lot better once it comes out of the freezer. So I'm gonna take these in and pray that they harden up to be a sugar mixture that I can work with. So on to the next step. So my chocolate is melted and I want to pour into chocolate. Oreo chocolate cereal. These are my rocks. I'm gonna reshape them a little bit because I think they spread out a little bit. It's kind of like frozen Play-Doh. It's malleable, but it's holding its shape, which is great. I like to name my food. We're gonna call this one Carl. We're gonna call this one Rie, because it's, it's, it's the best looking, coolest one. Oh, and then we're gonna call this one, we're gonna name him Bob. Okay. Because <laughs> I like Bob. And I think we're gonna glaze this ganache. Wow. Yeah, it's looking, looks like rocks. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm pretty proud of that. Look yeah. at that, that's pretty cool. That's so cool. All right, back into the freezer we go. This is exactly what I wanted in my head. The color's there, the sheen is there, the speckles are there. These are some really good looking rocks. Yeah, the rock looks really cool. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna get started on my bones while my rocks and my branches are in the freezer. Never thought I'd say that, but first we're gonna start with butter and sugar. Um, I'm gonna cream these together. 
liquids, egg, vanilla. I chose shortbread because I didn't want it to spread too much. I'm gonna finish off with the dry ingredients. So we have cornstarch. This is actually gonna help absorb a little more of the liquids so that the shortbread doesn't spread as much. We have powdered sugar for sweetness and two cups of flour. Dough's looking pretty good. So I want to shape this rock into neck pillow. A neck pillow, like TJ said, on yeah. the plane. Yeah, so Ooh. I'm going to put it in a refrigerator. Let's make some bones. First, I'm gonna start with the middle. I'm going to make my grass. TJ mentioned he loves broccoli, so I'm going to blanch some broccoli. So I see Rie pull out the broccoli. I remember TJ saying that he loves broccoli. If Rie's broccoli wins her the prize, I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah, I made four bones. Uh, hopefully 50% of them are usable. Um, Rie gave me a look. No. I'm not sure, but these are going in for 10 minutes at 350 and fingers crossed. Well, I'm going to, I'm gonna start making whipped cream. Okay. I kind of want to hand do it so I have some cream. And then I have a vanilla and then a little bit of honey. Okay, so this is beautiful, it's luscious, it's done. Broccoli is done. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and salt. And we are ready to plate. Okay. Oh, you have a big one. Plates. Uh, I'm going for a more rectangle. I think this represents like the rocky side of a mountain. Oh, yeah, I like so that. So I kind of like the texture on it. This is the biggest bone I've ever seen in my life. Come on. And I broke the bone. Oh, so no. we're not using that one. Uh, yeah, I guess that guy was calcium deficient. Good thing I have backup. But now I am a. 200 miles behind. Wow, look at that. Are you gonna brulee it, torch it? Oh, this is a great idea. You gave me a clue. Oh. I wasn't gonna do it, thank you, Alvin. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. You helped me, I helped you, this yeah. is how it works. Why did I do that? I'm pretty just kicking myself in the butt here, man. Like, what, helping Rie? She doesn't even need help. Oh yeah, I didn't even need it, look. Oh, wow, look at that tree. We get to the plating. This part in my head was the toughest part because of the trees. That's dangerous. I don't know really what to do with this. Tree, tree, tree. Yeah, so the branches are actually sticky, so the branches aren't gonna work, but I think I have a solve. I'm just gonna use the trimmings from the trunk to make the branches. Adaptation. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Oh wait, I have an idea. Let's see if this works. Whoa, that's cool. All right, let's stick with that. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, let's go, baby. So instead of doing this dumb branch thing I did, I'm just gonna split the tree like a lumberjack and bend the branches to the way I want. Wow, this looks so much better than the original idea I had. That looks like a tree, right? Yeah. All right, now I just have to reapply the leaves Wow, it's working. I'm applying my new knife technique to the trees. They're coming out great. My confidence is back up again after a big beating. And I think I have the shot at this. I am very happy by this turn of events. One accidental knife stroke and you get real trees. Yeah. I've decided to cut up all like grass he draw. Mm. Wow, that looks amazing, Rie. Thank you. Am I missing anything? No, right? Oh, hair. Uh-oh. <gasps> I can't believe I forgot. No Those way. Wow, it's such a good Founders. idea. So this is basically a shredded filodo. It is used in Middle Eastern desserts a lot. All right, I'm gonna move on to the rocks now. The rocks in the wild, I think, usually there's like grass around them. So I'm actually gonna lay a bed of grass for the rocks. I'm gonna put some butter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bake this for 375 Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. It's looking better than I thought it was. Look at my hair. Whoa, it's so golden. Yes. It's like the crunchy fried noodles you get in like mm -hmm. Chinese dishes sometimes. I like the color because he yeah. put like brown. brown. So if you wanted hairs. I'm gonna just put hair on top of my rock. Yetis have to sleep somewhere. I think if they were to sleep, they'd sleep on a nice bed of snow. I think this whipped cream can represent that. So we're gonna give him a little bed over here. It's also snowy in the mountains, so I'm gonna dust it with some powdered sugar to look cool, look cool. see snow. I think I'm done. I'm, I'm done, done too. I'm happy. Yeah, good job. Good job. We did it. Yes. 
put all TJ's favorite food on the plate and made exactly look like TJ's drawing, I'm very confident that TJ will like my dish. I'm happier with my dish than I originally thought. Not everything went according to plan, but I think I was pretty close to the drawing. Put some nice twists in there. I hope TJ is as excited as I am when he sees the rocks, because those things are pretty dope, man. Bring on my Yeti meal! Oh my goodness. Oh, I like the broccoli and the trees. And this one exactly looks like this one. It, it's cool. My attention to detail is paying off. Oh my gosh, this Pocky. I want to try this one. Yes, he loves Pocky. Mmm. It's kind of like vanilla frosting. I love Pocky. Mmm, I like the trees. Yeah, broccoli florets. Mmm. I like the broccoli part. I love broccoli. Are you kidding me? The broccoli? Oh my. Oh, this looks like cinnamon. I didn't put cinnamon in that. It's made of Oreos. I love the rock. It's so good. TJ is literally loving every single thing on Rie's plate. It looks like a a really giant cookie. Mmm, this is really good. Oh, I think this is like the grass, the grassy. I've never even had a Granny Smith apple, and I liked it. I liked everything on this plate. He said he loved everything I made. <sighs> this is gonna be a tough act to follow. Ooh. Wow, this looks cool. My dish goes in front of TJ, his eyes go wide. I feel like I'm still in the game. I like it how they have this rocky texture because they live in the Himalayan mountains. Oh, the rocks look amazing as well. It looks like ice cream with cinnamon. And is that like crushed up broccoli? Yeah, it looks like a crushed up broccoli. He is literally getting everything wrong. And I love the bones. They look like dough, like cookie dough. The sweat thing is not on my drawing, but it looks amazing. Oh, this is hard. It's good. It's good. It's like a sugar cookie. This smells weird, but I'll give it a try. Oh, man. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I know when a kid is lying. All right, I'll try this pudding. Whoa, that thing is soft. I think this is whipped cream. With the grassy. Mmm. Final thing is the ice cream. It's not ice cream, my guy, but that would have been a great idea. Wait, this is not ice cream. It ha it's a cake. I think it's a cake. Broccoli with cake. <laughs> it's good. No, it's not broccoli. It's coconut. It's green. It's green coconut. I made it for you, man. Yeah, it's broccoli. I think it's broccoli. Out of everything, I like the rocks the best. The trees were kind of hard to bite through. But, the, but it still looks like the drawing. All right, so TJ, you had two Yeti dishes. The first one was on a round plate. The second one was on a rectangular plate. Which one did you like more? The round plate. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I made that! <laughs> Good job. Rie wins. I guess that was kind of expected. I had a lot of fun competing against her, but hey, the queen of tasty is still queen. And as a reward, you get this. Thank you so much. Winner, winner, chicken bone dinner. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. Sometimes you cannot beat experience. No! <laughs>